Hammerettes. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna make two uh, centerpieces. I'm doing my bedroom in blush pink, so I'm gonna make two centerpieces for my bedroom. On the first one, you will need the rose. So I got these roses from um, Amazon, and um, I think they were like $19.99. We're gonna use the floral. Um, what is this? Uh, <laughs> The uh, whatever it is, I forgot. I just said please. I got these pearls from Family Dollar. We're gonna use some metallic paint. I don't know who put this pink thing on here, but it's silver and glue sticks. And I purchased this um, ribbon from Dollar Tree. I was so shocked that they had this uh, color. So we're gonna use this as well hot glue and some silvers. This basket I got from Dollar Tree. We're gonna use this basket. We're gonna paint it silver. Okay, so I already painted silver, so I'm just gonna show y'all, you know, just paint the basket silver. So anyway, this is the basket, and this is for um, purposes that um, I can go ahead and get this done. And I had most of this stuff because like, with everything that's going on, you just have to have it. So I'm gonna put this to the side. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our foam inside of the basket. And you can pretty much put it in the way that you need to. It's fine. I just pre-cut it so it can go in whatever save time. No, I'm a big time saver. Okay, so anyway, it, it's in here. Just put it in wherever it fits. It, it ain't no big deal how it goes in, you know, whatever. So, let's see. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this ribbon. And you all remember I said that I am so not with the, um, the uh, measuring and everything. So I'm gonna do it the basket like this. Just gonna measure pretty much to where the ribbon is down like that. But I hope y'all can see exactly what I'm doing. But um, you're just gonna take this ribbon back like this. You get the measurements like how long you need it to be and you take it back this way i hope y'all can see that <clears throat> and then we're going to go around i'm just showing you what we're going to do we're going to go around here and also we're going to take it back this way too so anyway it'll end up looking like that of course it's not straight but i'm gonna make it straight okay so the first thing I do is, let's see. Okay. We're gonna take the hot glue and get our place together. You're just gonna fold it back a little, like that. So it's gonna end up like this once you get done, one side. So, just putting the hot glue on there like that. You're gonna go around the basket. And like I said, it's gonna end up like this. So. Y'all, I, I hope y'all know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm sorry if y'all don't, but like I said, you just take it 
like this. Put that glue right there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to fold it back like this. Because once, um, it doesn't have to be really neat. It's just, you just have to have that bow look. But you, it doesn't have to be neat. And I will explain why later. Okay. So now, we're going to take the bottom piece and cut it. So it's cut. Like I said, it does not have to be, um even or anything like that okay so next we're going to take our pearls that we got from um we got this from family dollar no dollar general i was surprised that they had these beads because i had never seen them before but you just take the beads uh, no i'm sorry pearls and just place them over here to cover our mishaps. And I'm gonna clean this up later. It's pretty easy to do uh, once I'm done. And you can put uh, beads or gems or whatever. These are the sticky kind. I'm not gonna, um, use the hot glue because like i said i change up so much so i think this is it's pretty much okay i'm not putting it putting it in a certain order that one don't want to speak oh. Okay, so once you put the beads on, it's going to be like this, or the pearls, or whatever they are. <laughs> so anyway, we're done with that part. This is so easy and so quick. This is when we start to put our roses on. Now the trick to this is to make sure that the roses are hanging off of the, um, the sides of the, um, the bowl. Well, the basket. And you want to kind of do it to the point where in the end, there will be um, no uh, holes. Like you can't see through it or anything. You want to get it all um, to the point where it's going to cover everything. Like I said, this is a really, really quick but cute uh, DIY. And the good thing about this DIY, and so many that I do, you can <laughs> change up whenever you get ready, y'all. Because I just change up any given moment. I'm just, I'm just not a girl that sticks to the same thing all the time. That's why I try to do things that I could easily take apart or something. And plus, y'all know, I'm just not that tight that, um, uh, do things like all the great organization and all that. I ain't even with all this. I can't do it. These YouTubers, baby, they be on point. I ain't even that on point type of chick. Okay, so... Y'all, and stuff needs to be coming up sometimes in my uh, head. And I just be wanting stuff the way I want it. And that's how I go. Whatever. Let's see here. I think those are uh, other roses or whatever. I don't even know something else. 
But anyway, they come in a package like this. Like this. And there's a lot of them, it's like 60 of them in there. So you, you can kind of like get, you know, more for your money if you uh, do it with uh, Amazon. If you do it in a circular motion, like doing a circle, I think it's, it's easier to do than to not have uh, any direction. Some people just put it in, I don't know how to do it, I gotta have some direction. I guess they just uh, do it at it. I've seen them do it. Ooh, that little, that little foul diving. <laughs> And once you're uh, done, the flowers feel, they're so uh, soft and flexible that like when you're done, you can uh, kind of like mold the flowers the way you want it to be. So when you get in the middle, you open the flower up to the point where it's standing up because they're going to be to the side. So you turn them this way so they can uh, be facing up. That way you'll get, get a fuller look. And they give you enough flowers to where you can like, um, you know, do more than one uh, project with. So you, when you get to the end of this, what you have to do is go in and see where you need to add, um, Roses to fill in the gaps. Okay, now we have finished our project and it is so gorgeous, so pretty.